In this video, I'll show you how to clean the storage space on your Android phone when you have some old files or apps that are not used or duplicate files or even just temporary files from Android that could be deleted if you really need the storage space. First, you can go into the settings and then go to the storage space so you can see actually how much storage space you have free. So here I have about half of the storage space used only. This is uh, the Sony Xperia 1 Mark 5, Android 15 and 256 giga, giga total. Out of 256 giga of memory, 135 giga is used. This is the storage space on the phone, on the internal storage. And from here I can switch to the memory card to see if there is anything on the memory card and how much free space there is. So this is one terabyte memory card and 316 giga used and you can free up space from the internal storage or from the memory card on many phones many android phones don't have a memory card slot anymore but if your phone has one some of the options to clear the space are going to be useful for you so you can see the option here in the settings and storage page you can actually see how much space is taken by each thing usually images and videos will take a lot of space but if you see a lot of space used by apps you can actually see for each app how much storage space is used so for example you see tiktok here is using almost 10 giga of storage space you can tap on the app and there is 9 giga of user data i don't know what's that so i'm a bit afraid to look maybe it's some downloaded files temporary files I, I think I have to go into the settings to reduce that. It's too much using, it's using too much. But other than the individual settings for the apps, messaging apps, they might have a lot of storage data used when they download the files and videos and pictures when you share. But you can also choose to keep only a specific time frame from those apps. For example, keep only one week or one month of messages. And if you want to go back and see photos from last month, it will download there from the cloud again. There is also the bin. If you don't see anything unusual, the first thing you can do is to actually take the photos and videos and move them on an external SSD drive like the Samsung T7 Shield here. And that way you will free up a lot of space. But let's say you don't have an SSD drive with you and you can't move the pictures and you can't delete the pictures because it's videos and pictures you want. So I'll show you now to delete temporary files and files that are not needed for your phone. The phone will still work fine, but these are files that are um, can be deleted safely, more or less. So you have the option free up space. I use the files app from Google. This is the files by google app it's pretty simple but it's all i need really and it shows me the internal storage and the sd card storage but let's say you really need to free up some space urgently if you need to free up space there is a really nice option here on this menu on the hamburger menu and then you have the option clean here once you press on clean it will tell you for each storage device so I have here 135 giga is used on the internal storage and on the SD card it's almost almost empty so you can see like about half and less so you can see the storage the same page like before you have this section called junk files and that's 585 mega it's not much but it could be more so I could press on clean files by google would like to clear some temporary files this might result in increased usage of battery or mobile data so you could clear this one if you wanted to you could you could clear this one if you wanted to i'm not going to clean it because it's only 500 mega and i actually don't need the space but actually i'll clean it just so you see how it works how it's happening so clear junk files junk files cleared i don't know i don't know what was I don't know what was that, but I, I don't know what was that, but I'm afraid to ask or to think about it. So let's not think about it. Also, you can delete duplicate files. With the delete duplicate files, you can compare the files side by side. These are identical files that are taking up space and you might have the same file in multiple places. Usually for me, it's from 
downloaded the files downloaded from messages, instant messages. When you are shown the duplicate files to choose one to keep, it shows you the file name, also the size of each side. So the, the message here is these files are identical, taking up space. File app will keep the original if you select all duplicates. The file that you select here is the one that's going to be deleted. So the original is what's recommended to be kept, especially if they're the same size. You, usually you have to make sure the file size is the same, the file name is the, going to be the same because that's how it found the duplicates. Even from the size it found them like this. But really you have to be careful with this option not to delete the wrong files. Here you can select all duplicates and it will move 208 files to the bin. It's up to you. You might want to you might want to review those files to make sure that you are not deleting something that you want. If you don't want to delete anything, go back. You can also delete old screenshots and when you select the files, you will have here the, the files to select. Well, you can select the files here, you can select all items and there's going to be a lot of files if you have a lot of screenshots, like I take screenshots of everything. If you have a lot of screenshots, all screenshots to delete them might be an option, but you could also move them to ex external SSD drives. So I actually don't delete the uh, old screenshots. I might save them for later. You can, this is an interesting option. You can delete blurry photos. So this is a really great option to get rid of pictures that really don't mean anything. They're not useful, they, they are blurry. So you can't really see anything from them. You can select all and delete them, but I choose to go back. I'm not gonna delete them now. You can choose to delete large files. So delete large files. This one actually is going to free up 35 gig of space. And this is mostly the files are on the actual SD card. So this is a bit, it's not great that it's not, it's, it should be showing me only for the internal storage space because the SD card, there is plenty of space, but this is how it is. Delete large files. It will go to see on both internal storage and SD card if you have. Delete unused apps. You have to be careful with this. Maybe some apps you don't use often and you might not want to delete some apps and you don't want to use this option. Move files to SD card. I think this is a great option. If you have an SD card, this is going to give you the option to move files to the SD card. So you have here, you can select all the files and you can move them to the SD card in the image folder. I'm not going to do that. Usually it's going to take a while to do this, so you have to be ready for it. That's going to take a long time. You can also delete downloaded files. I really wouldn't do this because you usually download something that's important. So you might want to go through your download folder once in a while and delete the files you don't need. But delete download files, downloaded files, these are downloaded from the internet and you might not need them anymore, but you might ne still need them. It's up to you. You can select these files and delete them if you want to. You can do it from here or from the file manager, go directly to internal storage downloads folder. And that's pretty much all, all the options. Oh, there's this animation. There is this animation here. You press the light, it starts to what well, happens if you press the sofa? So it's cleaning. Once you finish with the clean, you should have more storage space. The idea here is not to free up the space completely, but just to have enough storage space until you get home to move pictures and videos from your phone. Usually those are the ones taking the most space. The storage space on your phone, it's uh, pretty expensive to have. So it's, it gets more expensive to buy a phone with more storage space. And I couldn't buy more storage space on my phone. 256 was the limit. And I'll get an iPhone soon with also 256. I was thinking about 512, but it's 200 euro more, 220 almost more for 256 giga. And here I have uh, the Samsung T7 Shield, two terabyte, ha two terabyte hard drive. I can move the pictures and videos to it directly very quickly. So I hope this video helps you to clear the space with from temporary files to be able to record some more videos and more pictures until you get home to copy your files into your SSD drive or your computer mostly. And you should have the files, pictures and videos at least two copies. Thanks for watching.
I hope this helps you.